Hello everyone, Sam is here from ifrsmagicweb.com uh, making this video as a weekly recap. So let's get started. Today is Sunday, the week's new week going to start soon, a few hours. So uh, the last week started on the, I think it's on 26th. Uh, this is, the, oh, let me see if I, yeah, 26th. Okay, so this is the first entry that I had in Euro Aussie, but uh, I, I took this chart, I, uh, you know, saved the pick. To just uh, show it, man, you know, uh, post by post on the Telegram. So, see the 20 pip, um, you know, the entry, and then it went 20 pip, and my target was uh, the S2, uh, I guess, and then that was it. That target hit for 60 pip, one by one, all right, step by step. So, this is on the 26th, this is the first uh, trade, and then on the 26th uh, as well, uh, Pound Nuzi here for 70 pip, just like that, same kind of setup, right? And the 70 pip, this is from the 20 minute chart. And uh, the 26th, uh, also pound Aussie, right? So Aussie and New Zealand both getting strong. So everything went down, 70 pip here. Uh, now here on the uh, pound Aussie, on the next day, we start to go up, right? That's what happened. Uh, you know, one day the pair is down, the other way the pair is up. Uh, it all depends on the news or the fundies, whatever the fundamental comes, uh, the price react to it, right? So, a <clears throat> pound Aussie went up on the 27th, 60 pip. This is from the seven minute chart. Um, and then here, pound yen on the 27th. You can see it's beautiful entry here, all the way up 100 pip, even from the seven minute chart. And this is on the 27th, also Euro Aussie. This one went up here. See, it was bearish here, turning bullish, going above the red line. And this yellow is above the black. This syndicate is all the way down. I forgot to mark it. And then it went up all the way to Euro Aussie. Seven minutes to 80 pip here, right? So on the 27th here, uh, Euro Yen. Uh, yen, because of the Yen index, was going uh, getting weaker, actually. And all the pairs have Yen on the right-hand side. All the pairs went up. I even made a video on that. Uh, my last video was on that. So Euro Yen uh, went up for 100 pip here. And... Uh, on the 28th, pound CAD, this one sell order for 85 pip. And then here on the 29th, I had pound yen again going to the upside. See, every day it goes up and then just, you know, retest a little bit on the side movement, you know, ranging a little bit. And then the volume comes in and then it takes off again. So this is how it is. Every day, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, right? So 80 pip again on the 29th. And that on the 30th, this is pound cat all the way down. Beautiful entry. See, this is a drop and then sideways, right? Rinse. This is repeat. This is rinse. And then this is repeat. And then rinse. Then repeat. You know, that happens all the time. So, seven minute um, uh, chart, 60 pip, nice and clean. And the last but not the least is pound USD from seven minute as well. And uh, this is sell order, SL move to break even, beautiful. Again, just move, then this is like retracement, right? Rinse, and then repeat, then a little retracement, drop, you know, continue. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, so many entries. I mean, this one and this one and this one, you know. So when the pair moves, it moves in this uh, system, uh, gives so many entries, right? They just need to know where uh, that pair is going and because of what. Okay, fundies, and then after that, yeah, you know. So I had USD going, uh, I'm going to get it strong, and it did. Uh, by the way, the pound, uh, uh, let's say if I have it, yet. yen index. Yen index, I made this chart on the 25th April saying that from here, we're going to go up here. 57.24 was the target. Currently, what we are doing is that we came very close to that. And last uh, Friday, we made a reversal candle at this level, 56.97, without touching the 57.24. So this could be the turning point. Uh, it all depends on the fundies as well. But uh, maybe this is the end of year five, and uh, we're probably going to see a down move for back to this rising TL from this, right? So uh, if that's so, then all yen pairs next week start will start to go down. So as we go along, I'm going to make the chart, give it to my subscribers, and, uh, uh, yeah, we start trading that. But, you know, going up, I had a couple of trades, like I showed you, the couple of pound yen and then one euro uh, yen for 100 pip, right? 
So maybe 300, around 300 pip, to go, 250, 300 going to the upside, this chart gave me. I could have done more, but, you know, because I knew that all yen pair are going to go up. And I even showed in the, my last webinar that, you know, they all went up, right? So, and then if they're going to, if this thing is going to come down, they all will make the move to the downside. So this is the beauty of watching the index and trading on the index. Uh, so this is it for now. Uh, today, like I said, it's Sunday, a new week is going to start soon. Uh, in a few hours, right, it's 12, so 4 o'clock the market, 5 o'clock the market opens up again. And let's see what happens. All right, so this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful new trading week.